31 million views. <laughs> and 200, uh, over 250,000 subscribers. So when you talk about hard currency, actually, I think Kiki has one or two things to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to this evening. We're very, very delighted to have you here. We're excited about our creators. You know we engage with you on a regular basis, and we love how you're using digital to create magic across multiple verticals, you know, comedy, lifestyle, music, food, different forms of content. And we know that content is king. It's through content that we tell our stories, that we show our creativity, that we just share a lot about who we are with the rest of the world. And at YouTube, at Google, we're very committed to ensure that your experience on the platform continues to be positive, and not just that, that you're successful from every perspective. So successful in terms of broadcasting yourself, and also successful in terms of monetization, hard currency that um, Kiki was talking about. A few weeks ago, we had a Raise, raise a Voice event which was just really supporting female content creators on the platform. We have a number of events on an ongoing basis to just really make sure that we're giving you the tools and just everything that you need to be successful on the platform. So once again, welcome to the creators in the room. And also welcome to the brands. There are some amazing brands here. We're also very excited whenever we see either an organization or an individual doing something amazing with digital. We get really excited. So we love what our brands have been doing. And this evening, bringing creators together with these amazing brands, we're expecting magic. And as Kiki said, I know she said it tongue in cheek, but hey, we're looking forward to some amazing marriages from this evening between brands and creators. And we will be happy to showcase and celebrate those marriages, especially if they bear fruit. <laughs> and they will bear fruit. <laughs> because we have some great examples already of marriages between brands and creators that have borne amazing fruit. And this is really important because when we think about the mission that a number of our brands have around you know, reaching consumers in a more engaging way, rather than starting from scratch, it makes a lot of sense to connect with a creator that has already invested a lot in building traffic, in generating over 30 million views <laughs> and the likes, and get, getting a head start and just really leveraging what already exists to build momentum. And I'm going to share some great examples of brands that have done this. So Voxy leverage creators to showcase the unique benefits of their new phone plans. You're going to get this deck so you can read through the details around the challenge, the approach, and also the insights and results from that engagement. But what I want to do is to get you to hear about the experience from the horse's mouth. So I'm going to play a video now where you hear about this experience. So if you can play the video. At any time, head to voxy.co.uk to find out more. And make sure you follow their Instagram and their Twitter at voxy underscore UK to keep updated. And because of Voxy's endless social media, I've been able to scour the internet whilst I was on the move. And I found the best questions to see who's the smartest in the beta squad. Thanks to Voxy for the paid promotion at the start of my video. Thank Awesome. So that's one great example. And I'll really encourage everyone this evening, don't just stay in your corner. Every time there's an opportunity to mingle, we have everyone here. We have the brands here, we have creators. In addition to meeting brands, if you're a creator, you can also meet other creators and look at positive collaborations. Also, I'm delighted that I have my colleagues here. So we also have quite a, a, a number of Googlers here from our product, uh, product teams in Mountain View, and also my colleagues in the Africa Leadership Team. 
<laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> so please do mingle and let's uh, try to get as much as possible. Try and actually give yourself a goal to talk to at least 50% of people here. So I'm going to share another case study. Uh, if we go to the next slide, please. Okay, so good night leveraged YouTube creators to highlight why good night is the solution to nighttime bedwetting wetting for children. And again, you can see some of the results popping out. 3.8 million unduplicated unique views, and you get to read the story, uh, the, the entire challenge and approach when we send this to you on email, but I would like to play the video now. But every single night, they come in our room and they get in our bed. Even though Andres, he's been potty trained for about, what, two years? Audrey just is like completely potty trained, but she's still bed wet at night. So putting on her on good nights, just to cover a new mattress, you know, but good nights provides like that extra set of protection, you know, knowing that um, everything is going to be protected here. Aja and Audrey just got brand new beds. And even still, every single night, they come into our bed. And I don't want to wake up to any spillovers. That's why at the end of each evening, they wear good nights. Good nights provides 40% more protection than training pants and are 40% more absorbent than the leading 4T to 5T training pant. With the stretchy waistband, it provides a soft, underwear-like tight feel for all the body shapes in my family. And for Audrey, they have the extra small size for those who are recently potty trained and only wet at night. Goodnight offers the best nighttime protection guarantee. 